This is a demo of our production line simulator, FlowShop Sim. FlowShop Sim is a simple, powerful, and educational software that helps simulate high variety or high volume production lines. This tool is helpful in the training programs for conveying some important concepts of production lines concerning bottlenecks, work in process, lead times, throughput, and the effect of dependency and variation on these aspects. It is also useful for comparing the performance of a few production control methods. FlowShop Sim comes with an inbuilt example of a production line with five workstations as shown in this diagram. We can have more than one resource at any workstation and set any speed for any resource for a simulation purpose. In the second row of the top table, we can set an inventory limit for each workstation. Similarly, we can specify variation in cycle time for each workstation by entering an appropriate value in the third row. The lower table contains 15 routing templates. These templates can represent 15 types of products. For simulation purpose, FlowShop Sim can create up to 30,000 jobs from these templates. The built-in example initially contains a list of 100 jobs created from those 15 routing templates. For simulation purpose, each job is created from a randomly selected template. However, routing of any job can be changed if necessary by making an appropriate change in template number in this column. Let us now simulate the production of these uh, 100 jobs. We do not get enough knowledge of the dynamic nature of production even by watching this animation until the end of simulation. Instead, we can study and analyze the trace of simulation for getting a lot of valuable knowledge of the dynamic nature of production. FlowShop Sim presents the trace of simulation in many graphical and numerical forms uh, to help with uh, production analysis. I would now skip animation to save time by checking this box. Now the simulation is completed almost in no time. We can see production KPIs in these uh, six boxes. As per simulation, the production system produces one job every 8.36 uh, minutes. The average VIP is uh, 21.47. The average production lead time of jobs is 179 minutes and the average waiting time of jobs is 148 uh, minutes. This Gantt chart is uh, one form of the trace of simulation. It shows how each job has progressed over time uh, in simulated uh, production. Yellow colored bars represent waiting times of jobs for resources at uh, workstations. All bars of other colors represent uh, durations of uh, operations. This VIP chart shows inventory levels at each workstation over time. This is the summary Gantt chart. It shows the flow of all jobs in a single view. The chart reveals that at any workstation, job waiting times keep varying over time. This is mainly due to the variety among jobs in high variety production. Job waiting times are long at the second workstation until this time. From this moment onwards, they are gradually decreasing. In contrast, the job waiting times at the third workstation are insignificant until this time point Afterwards, they are increasing. Similarly, job waiting times at the last workstation 
are insignificant until this time point. Afterwards, they're increasing. Long job waiting times at a workstation indicate that the workstation is a bottleneck, at least uh, temporarily. From graphical point of view, the large yellow colored regions in this chart represent uh, bottlenecks in production. This chart is another graphical form of the trace of simulation. It shows our resource workloads over time. The last column of this table contains the overall resource utilization percentages over production period. This summary table shows production lead times of jobs in the last column. We can also see the start time of the first operation and uh, the finish time of the last operation for every job in these two columns. And uh, this table shows the flow of each job in full details and in numerical form. Let us now simulate the same production for an inventory limit of 4 instead of 25 for every workstation. And uh, let us simulate the same production with a Conweb implementation by taking a VIP limit of 11. And uh, let us simulate the same production with a total waiting time of every job restricted to 50 minutes. And uh, let us simulate the same production with no in-process waiting, that is waiting time zero, like uh, one piece flow. This is the Gantt chart for a production with uh, no in-process waiting time in high ready production. This table contains production KPIs in all simulations that are performed in the current session. It enables comparison of all cases with respect to production rate, WIP, and lead times. Let us now simulate production of a single high volume product with a variation in cycle times. Let us set a plus or minus two variation at each workstation. And let us create a product of quantity 100 from the first routing template. In this case, cycle time varies between 8 and 10, 8 and 12 at every workstation. I'm now going to create a product of quantity 100 from template 1. Now you could see that each item is created from routing template 1. Let us simulate the production for um, an inventory limit of four at each workstation. And uh, let us simulate the same production under Conwip with a VIP limit uh, eight. And uh, let us simulate the production with a waiting time restricted to 35 minutes. This table now gives comparison of these three cases. Let me delete the old cases here. Now this table gives a comparison of uh, three cases. We can also implement a, a change over times by checking this box, but we need to check this box. Thank you for watching this uh, brief demo of a flow shop sim.